always got to put Christ in there Kirk. sometime. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> All, All right. right, and welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I am super, super pumped. This is Kirk Fletcher once again. What's you guys, happening? <laughs> you are... A seriously popular dude on the channel. Oh, People are man. like, oh my God, I love this guy. Oh, it's, everybody's really kind. It's because you're sweet and humble and you oh, rip. Man. <laughs> <laughs> In this town, you better be humble. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I, get a, I get a heavy dose of, of humbling all the time. <laughs> totally, and yeah. I get a heavy dose of humbling looking at your videos. <laughs> Well, you know, if I can get somebody to burn the guitar once a day, it's a good right, thing. It's man, a good day. I'd say. <laughs> I'd say. So we're bringing in Kirk because we've just filmed an amazing player's perspective with Kirk Fletcher. I'm going to leave the link down below. There's going to be a sale price, an evergreen sales price. Of course, you're seeing this video now, so it's going to be the biggest sale. But Woo! if you catch it later, we'll give you a little <laughs> discount anyways. But anyways, this course is amazing. I brought Kirk in because... Um, you know, you just have this really great way of um, adding feel into your playing without making it complicated. Although people don't, may not know this, and, and my sound guy was saying this too, he didn't realize how many different styles you can play and mm -hmm. what, what I, and, and the ability to which you can play at. Obviously everybody knows you're really good at blues, but you're sitting here warming up. He's sitting here warming up, just ripping 80s stuff and like <laughs> all sorts of killer stuff. But but it just makes me appreciate even more that you play to the tune. You're not you're not out to like show off or like prove anything to anybody. And what comes across in your playing the most is the feel. No matter what you're playing, always feels really really good. So when I had you come in, I wanted you to kind of see if we could somehow teach people how to do that, and also meet people that wherever they're at. So the cool thing I think you did really well in the course is you were able to give really good phrasing ideas for people with feel at a very be kind of beginnerish level. And then you're able to really step it up. And, you know, I think there's definitely some, some intermediate advanced stuff in there too, but at the same time, never losing the feel, which is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like some people can start to play fast and it becomes robotic and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. not the case, sir. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. You know, I've thought about that a lot and yeah. talked about it in different videos and things like that, talking about the feel mm -hmm. and, you know, adding like soul and all these different things. You know, I grew up a, a certain way, you know, where we played a lot of soulful music, sure. and a lot of R&B, gospel, blues and all that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, even still, I sat in my room and mimicked guitar players. Yeah. You kind of get a two for one when you kind of mimic guitar players like, say, Stevie Ray Vaughan or B.B. King or Albert King or Robert Johnson or whoever. Yeah. When you sit there and mimic things, you you sort of the closer you get, the more you're getting that feel and all mm -hmm. that with it. And then you just keep on doing that. And you kind of hopefully evolve into your own thing. Yeah. You know? Well, that's the interesting thing. I, I, maybe we can go over that in some of your phrasing, mm -hmm. you know. You can tell that you've been influenced by a lot of people, but you know one of the things that I think makes you really unique is when you play. I don't say, "Oh, that's a Stevie Ray Vaughan," like, or you know what I mean. It's like it doesn't, you know. I mean, you kind of have your own voice, which is tough to do because you know we all learn from the greats, and it's tough not to let you know direct copies of their mm -hmm. licks come through. Like yeah. even with your vibrato and all that other stuff, I'm not thinking, "Oh yeah, I hear this or that." Mm -hmm. It's like still your own thing. So maybe we can talk about making something your own too. But on that progression we were playing, the E, uh, B, C-sharp minor, mm -hmm. A. What's like a good, give us four notes and start off to, and just show, show them kind of how to work the, work the feel and concentrate on melody first, if well, I'm gonna play that. Well, if you play that first chord, uh -huh. it's in the key of E, right? Yeah. I think. <laughs> you know, me too. I'm the worst with all that. You got me, man. Immediately, right. I'm going to play, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. Super simple. It's just how you deliver it. Yeah. You know, but it's simple. It's super simple. It's just playing the notes in the chord. Okay. You know, and that's usually always where I'm going to start because I'm not, 
you know, a jazz musician. I don't really have too much harmonic sophistication. Please. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you know, on. I'm going to try it. What, what my whole thing is, what my gag is, yeah. is uh, you know, playing just the notes in the chord and just the delivery of it. Okay. You know, like, so over time, you know, you just sort of weed out all of the BS and you mm -hmm. just try and center around playing, delivering that one note. Okay. You know, making a statement, delivering one note. How do you get, you get a huge sound out of like the guitar though. Like, you know, how is it, uh, it's like a, a confidence level. Like, how do you get to that point to where you can play the one note and it feels big, you know, I mean, that's like an art in, an, in and of itself. And I don't think. Well, you know, there's a lot of things going on with that, that I've, you know, like over time, you kind of like, you know, you work on and you sound like what you want to sound like, even on acoustic guitar or whatever. And I would say that one thing is I use the round edge of my pick oh, okay. and that already just adds to fatness. I got that from Robin Ford, Okay, you know. 20 is it years, 25, 30. More years. like a round sound to it? Yeah. Or, I mean, can you demonstrate uh, yeah, the difference? Yeah, sure. De definitely. Okay, here is the pointed edge of a pick, and I'll play. Try and play a little cleaner. And then if you play. Oh, totally. You know. That's a huge difference. Just, yeah. Okay. You know, and then if you play. And then I can kind of move back here. It's like you're pulling the, you know, like a Kenny Greenberg, you're kind of pulling the sound. You know, a lot of guys that come over here, you know, you're pulling the sound out of the guitar. Okay. You know, and... And see, another thing I'll do too is muting. Muting is so important, like you get this... Yeah, like a rake. It's a you know that rake? Yeah. <laughs> you know. And over time, you just sort of like really your ear tunes your fingers to do sure. that, you okay. know, to get that sound that, that's in your head, you know. If that makes any sense. No, it totally does. <laughs> Well, the, one of the cool things that I appreciated in the video is like there's for each of the tracks, I think we did like three different jam tracks. Mm -hmm. You you really started simply mm -hmm. and really built upon the phrasing of what you're doing. You kind of laid a really solid, like almost sometimes like four note, real simple yeah. foundation. And then we're able to like build steps yeah. upon that. So if we took the same kind of progression, um, can you play real simply the f you know first couple rounds and then just show them how you can like whether it's adding a passing tone or an arpeggio or something like that just kind of step it up every two run throughs on the on the actual progression? Um, sure. Maybe <laughs> I, I was thinking I could do that, okay. but you know it might be what would cool. You do? <laughs> it might be cool to play your favorite twelve bar blues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want? That's like oh man, yeah, I'll do it for you because you're here. Uh, Oh man, thank you. All right, what do just you want? so I can you know speak a little bit better. Give me the that. give me the rhythm that you want. Like uh, just straight ahead. This is the other thing about him, <laughs> and he's coming back, and his rhythm chops are freaking phenomenal. So good. No, seriously, when you're playing with Kenny, and if you guys haven't seen this video he did with Kenny Greenberg, they like first time they ever met, just bumped into each other at my house and just did the most epic jam. <laughs> three of four, three or four of them at my house. I'll, 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 uh, I'll link that video down in the description box below too. That but, was fun. Um, anyways, feel wise, what do you want? What key and what feel? You know, I would just say like a slow blues and B flat, you know, like, and then I can really kind of, yeah, flat. like the horn key, okay. you know, like Good for all you. the, you know, B flat plus, major, minor? B flat just. What are you doing there? What chord, chord is that? It's a B flat nine. I think. Is that, is it? Oh, that works too. Okay. Do a 13. What, what, what is that chord you're doing? Um, I can't even see. Same as. You know, James Brown chord. What is that thing? I'm showing you. Yeah. Wait, how yeah. do you do it? That was right. The one you done right, right here? Before. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm doing something's wrong. What, what note is well, it? Well. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. It's so right here. Yep. Oh, it's like that. Is that oh, the, not it. Are you doing yeah, B flat? B flat. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. right here. Yeah. Okay. See, this is why I don't like blues. This is why, this is why you just busted me. <laughs> hey, that's okay. <laughs> 
Right? Yeah. What are you doing right there? Show me show us the little rhythm you're doing. Oh, well, I'm probably, you know, I usually always play slow blues with some kind of something, some rhythmic kind of thing going. Okay. So it, you know, I used to do that when I would play with drummers with yeah. like kind of questionable time. <laughs> you, <laughs> you became know, the drummer? I, I, I developed like this thing literally <laughs> on the spot to do. Right. I didn't develop it myself. Other people have done it before okay. me. But for me, right. you know, I would just always add some kind of rhythm motion, you know, like. <laughs> okay. So what you were saying? So first time I would start like You know, something real simple like yeah. that. Still playing the chord like. Okay. You know. <laughs> So, are you playing out of typical pentatonic shapes or oh, more yeah. out of the chord? So, like, on so, each of those, what you just did, can you break down where you're at? So oh, yeah, sure. Don't know? You know, like, so I'm in B flat, right? Here, put it, point, point, point. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm in B flat, yeah. right? I'll, I'll watch it and learn after, after <laughs> I edit it. So, that's just. Okay. Right? That's an E flat nine. Just, you know, playing the notes in the chord. Okay. But once again, it's the, the delivery and the intent and the, okay. you know, domination of the <laughs> pentatonic scale. <laughs> Don't you ever, ever. I just made that up right now, though. <laughs> but you know. Yeah. I mean, that's, board domination. That's really there you go. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like. And, and loving the simplicity of it, really, because, you, you know, you can tell if somebody's just playing something. Yeah you know, phoning it in, or are they really mean <laughs> at, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting when you, we, like, one of the things you just did, you just bent up and then you cut the note off. It's oh, like yeah. Those little like, things. Yeah. You know, I think uh, um, sometimes when, when beginners are going, you, all the note durations are the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> totally. And, and uh, one of the things I was doing in this course, I, I just did, I was listening to some Joe Walsh, and he does a lot of, like, really quick um, oh yeah notes, and then we'll do a lot yeah. you know what i mean and, and like it just real staccato yeah like, full staccato oh, and it just sounds so good when you when you play with time and the note duration and how it pockets with this with the music. especially too the yeah. tone with the echo plex and the <sighs> so early like good. james oh, Dane days so, so turn to sour yeah like, so good but you know like that that's really it though i mean i can't stress that enough is really just trying to like lay into that you know mm -hmm. And mind you, when I first started, even after years, it took me a long time to get to that. This isn't like a overnight thing. Oh, just do this. You, you know. just had it. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, I really sounded crummy, too, just like everybody else. It's not like, you know, I was just 
Mm-hmm. Being able so you're to not do natural. that, yeah, coming from like 14, <laughs> 14 generations, yeah, of musicians. you know, it's like you can even have <laughs> the feeling in your heart, but still, it takes a little while to physically get right, it out. Right. <laughs> you can't know? express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know. So if you're um, if you're gonna show me that chord again, what what were we doing here? Playing the B flat nine chord, I believe. Where where is that? How do you do it again? First well, notes D. There we go. Yeah. Why? So Corey's gonna slap me around. It's like I already taught this in my blues course. <laughs> Corey, man, that's bad dude. Okay. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. And then. Okay. A good thing, like when you done that. Yeah. You know, the go. Oh, <laughs> Just that little nice. thing kind of okay, outlines all the chord, chords, you know. So is this over the one? Yeah. Okay, do that real slow. It'll far. be the turnaround, you know. Oh, okay, so. King really had it wrapped yeah. up because you know if you could play that few notes mm-hmm. and still outline all the chords. Yeah. I mean, BB in his career he probably played more guitar than you know. I mean, he played so many different styles, and he over time he streamlined it into yes. playing like you know, you know. It, but he was playing more like T Bone and all those guys, awesome. you know. You know, he was playing more like that. And it went into, okay, he threw away all of the stuff that he probably thought he didn't need and just streamlined it into. So there's some stuff out there where BB's just ripping. Oh, yeah. Come on, give us well, some he's, like He's ripping on everything. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. <laughs> but but I like, know technically, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. I mean, he's swinging what's like, like what's when a, you listen. Mountain? Like, Just Like a Woman, um, Beautician Blues. I mean, these are more like singles and yeah. stuff. But you can find compilations like, uh, you know, anything like the best of B.B. King where he's doing like Sweet Little... There's a million. B.B. put out a lot of records. Oh, heck yeah, he did. It's because he played for like 95 yeah. years. <laughs> exactly, you know? <laughs> Probably I mean, every day. Sweet Little Angel, uh, Three O'Clock Blues, you know, all of these different, that early, just the early B.B. Okay. I'll just put it like that. There's so many different versions of that compilation of the early sides of bb king and you can clearly hear him playing you know what most blues guitar electric blues guitar players to come after him because his career started in like what 48 49 so imagine all of the guys after him you know crazy yeah to stay like consistent that whole time And, and not you know there's a lot of um different like you're saying styles and he didn't just play like one four five blues. I think that's what a lot of people, <laughs> you know, some of that more R and B flavored stuff. And some oh, of those yeah. chord changes are pretty sophisticated. It is, know? and I mean, BB would do like eight bar blues and and blueses with uh, bridges and things like that, mm-hmm. you know. And and he's playing. Sometimes he's just playing. <laughs> you 
you know, and, and just playing that one note, but selling it like yeah. only he could do, you yeah, know? So and weird. that's like the thing. And, and then when you put that in, say, a band like Free or something mm-hmm. like that, that's the same concept. You know, Paul Kossoff was doing in Free. Everybody talks about this guy. Oh man, you gotta you gotta get hit to that. Coming from the blues man that I Seriously, am, you gotta yeah. Paul Cosso, huh? Oh man. That crazy vibrato, man. man. Like he was I mean, like, like I know like the you know, the radio hits, but like Just is, get the best the, of free. Best just of free. Best of free. And that and like just Thank me later. <laughs> the best of free is a good way yeah. to start whatever. Well, what's like what's something you've like taken from him? Oh, uh, well, I'm not per se, I didn't really per se take anything yeah. from him because I had already, you know, I got hip to him later. Oh, when okay. I was like so you'd already kind of know, yeah. Or something, you know? Right. And I had already been listening to like Cream and all of that kind of stuff. But he was like a Les Paul Marshall guy and his vibrato, he had this really kind of faster, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, kind of faster vibrato. Sure. And there's this song. I forgot the name of the song. I was just listening to it. Sort of. Uh, um, it's like Stevie Ray meets Angus. <laughs> well, <laughs> you might get some, you know, some yeah. people that would back to never on that. But, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it was just more aggressive kind of. Mm-hmm. And, sure. you know, Free was, it was just a great band yeah, Paul Rogers, yeah, you know, yeah, the singing sure. and the lyrical, throaty, Les Paul sound, you know. Yep. I'm trying to think of that song. I have to get back to you on okay. that song. Let's go back to um that one we started with. Yeah. Because it's not so it, it's, yeah. it's blues, but it's it's you get a chance to kind of weave in and yeah. out of major and minor. Totally. And, yeah. Um can we take that same philosophy and let me play a couple rounds of that and then I'll keep playing and then you mm-hmm. just kind of Start okay. bumping it up and maybe like talk about your approach before you do it. Like on okay. this one, I'm gonna blah blah blah. We'll f- see how it goes. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna speed up. So right there, I'm just trying to play really melodic, you know, trying to play the 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 less as possible, okay. you know, and just really try and make it sing like a vocalist would, really, you know. Um, and to add to that or do something a little different, I might not change my note choice so much, but I might play it with a different attitude. Okay. Might dig in a little more. Okay. Instead of playing different notes. Okay. Because pretty much I do play like that. Sure. The simplest way is yeah. usually how I play. <laughs> okay. So can you can you demonstrate um, different? Maybe use the same kind of notes, but different different attack and yeah. Piece? Okay. Two, three, four. Like that, you know, just, you just as a, fool people with your blues bag. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you the got great. like you got like a secret metal gig at night. Eh? You're just like, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, to, like have amazing. some crazy okay, metal uh, singer. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna take a YouTube poll and let me know in the comment section 
<laughs> we all know Kirk can play blues, but how many of you would want to see Kirk with like two Marshall half stacks behind him playing hard rock? <laughs> Spandex? Yes. No. No. <laughs> My beer guy. <game. laughs> <Exactly. laughs> Could you imagine? That'd be yeah. terrible. But like, Let no. us know. <laughs> Kirk, hard rock album, or at least like solid rock playing. Yeah. Because you got it. And you don't, he oh, does it when, he, when he's over here warming up. I'm like, bro, where's that Kirk? Like, <laughs> come on. That's the world of guitar. He was man. doing they tapping. He was tapping <laughs> before I turned on the camera. He's doing the beat it solo. I was like, dude. That's what? always fun. I mean, yeah. I'm, you know, 40. Six years old. Okay, what's you know? some of your favorite rock riffs? Let them have it. Come on, dude. <laughs> I don't know anything. I just like play <laughs> at songs. You know, like it's always I just do that for shock vac yeah. factor. You yeah. know, like yeah. Exactly. You know, or you. Know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like uh, you got him. You know the yodel. See? You know, something like See? that. You Bet know. you guys never seen him tap before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just stuff like that for shock factor. Yeah. I mean, like, I like to, like, uh, it's always been fun for me. It's not, like, disrespectful to no. the blues or anything. Dude, I mean, who cares? That well, I mean, yeah, well, uh, you know, that's the one thing that, you know, there's, I know some other players that are blues players, and it's like, just freaking play guitar. Like, why yeah. do you have to classify everything else? Yeah. Well, Something to me, the, the the blues, like if I play traditional blues, it's fun for me to sure. stay in the style. Yeah. But if I write a song, yeah. my own song that I wrote, yeah. then that's my baby to do what I want to. Yeah, exactly. You know? And that's the thing. Box this, you in. Yeah. It's all about taste. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because Eddie Van Halen and, and Angus Young, they yeah. have taste and yeah. they're playing appropriately for... Well, those are blues songs, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally, you know what I mean? Though? Yeah, and so I it's, do. it's like more of a matter about rip. Yeah, you want to rip, but you want to have taste yeah. too. Yeah, even if you are playing metal. Yeah. And see, I'm a guy that heard those records and grew up with MTV yep. and all that. Oh you know? heck yeah! So it was still tasty. Yeah, you know, I mean, all of those guys. I mean, even Europe and like you oh, know, geez. John Norm and about some you know, monsters. Key Marcel Slash. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> was he was after John, right? Yeah, yeah. he was on the um uh what's it? He's, he plays on this song called Superstitious. Oh yeah, I know that song. Blues Why licks not are so good. So fluid. That's, that that uh, melodic solo he takes. Yeah, like, yeah. See? Da, 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 da. Yeah, totally. Metal guy in there. Saw Check like, you out. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry, this has gone all <laughs> over the place. I, I planned on keeping it focused, but every time oh. it comes over, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the course, we're going to leave the links down below to check it out. He, We actually teach things, for yes. real, but it is like a sit-down of yeah. really going in-depth with his style. He demonstrates how to play rhythm stuff, and then, like I said, there's three different levels. So even if you're a beginner, there's some rock-solid tips and ideas on how to, like, just what you're talking about, the different attack, the feel, how to add vibrato, all that stuff to your playing. And then we have him do barn burning solos too, where he's just letting it all go like at a, a Fletcher gig. <laughs> so the the great thing about it is, you know, this isn't a theory course. This isn't, you know, um, you know, a pentatonic mastery course. This is all about feel, note choice, and phrasing, right? So if you're, you know, already a, an accomplished player and want to really work on those aspects of your playing, this play, this is awesome. And we let it, we cut them loose on a couple parts and it's just like, oh. wow. <laughs> so there will be tabs, there will be jam tracks, there'll be all of this different stuff in there. It's going to be awesome. He, you know, it, it ended up being a pretty good, pretty good amount of time too. So yeah. you get to spend it. It was like having a private lesson with Kurt Fletcher. <laughs> I'm always, it's always fun for me to do it this way too, yeah. because the pressure is gone because, you know, I'm not the best at it explaining everything when I have to theoretically you feel talk it. about it. Yeah. <laughs> it is easier to sit here and talk to you right. about that kind of stuff, you know, and exactly. hopefully I can just help and show something, you know, some kind yep. of thing that I do like people done for me. Yes. <laughs> you know. And we are getting them in here for a rhythm one because his rhythm chops, man, seriously, you got some <laughs> of the best rhythm chops I've ever heard. They're so good. So anyways, link down below, it'll be on sale, a, a big, huge price 
opening weekend. Check it out. There'll be a link down below. And then also let us know about the Kirk Fletcher rock gig, of course, because especially if you're here in town, right? Everyone's playing with their, you know, not to, not to bash any amps because two rocks sound great and fenders sound amazing. But for God's sakes, can one of you guys pull out a Marshall? <laughs> oh, man, that's amazing. Yeah, man. I mean, just plug straight in. I, and, and then it would just be like Valhalla opened up. It's just because you guys are all so good. You need to have a half stack behind you. I mean, hey, I'm and not underdog. mad at that. I'm not mad at that at exactly. all. Exactly. I'm bringing on next gig. I'm coming in. Sacking your underdog. <laughs> if you guys are in town, make sure you come to see him. He does play at the underdog frequently, and it's an awesome, awesome place. If anybody's visiting Nashville, I would say the underdog is Nashville's baked potato at this point. Yeah, especially with the level of players that play yeah, there. You I mean, might see monsters, anybody there. Monster, monster players. Like anyone from like him, Guthrie, Billy Gibbons, Larry <laughs> Carlton. Like just, you're just like, what? And it, you just walk in, and it's like, oh, there they are, right there, jamming. I mean, seeing Guthrie play on the Monday night is like... <laughs> yeah, he plays every Monday night. Every Monday, Guthrie trap, a world-class yeah. player like that, giving it up. With a world-class band. With a world-class yeah, band, and he is, is up there playing stuff that I'm crazy. like, how is he even pulling that off? I, I, mean. I don't know. I think everybody wonders that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Everybody right. wonders how severely how I'm just like, it's like, man. I guess I got to go practice. <laughs> I you. know. Shit, I'm up there. Doo, 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 no, doo, dude. Doo, no, no. You bring it, man. <laughs> this Don't let him fool you. He has got chops no, for days, and you have to go to the underdog <laughs> to see it. Or, you know, you're playing live, I would imagine, all the time. Well, so. we got a lot of stuff in our future. <laughs> Yes, do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. He's also maybe got another cat coming into town with him. Yeah. But that'll be later. That'll be another video. We'll talk yeah. about it. So thank you so much for your continued support. All of this is brought to you by brettpapa.com down below. That funds this whole project, brings wonderful guys like Mr. Fletcher in to be able to play. I can pay him. I can be like, okay, man, I swear, you're going to make money this time. <laughs> All of that is brought to you guys by, by your support at brettpapa.com. Make sure you check out his course. It should be live by the time you see, well, it will be live by the time you see this video. Awesome. Let us know if you have any questions below. There's also a, a section once you get the course, you can ask questions and all that kind of stuff. So all that stuff will be provided, jam tracks, tabs, the whole bit. Do you have, you don't have a YouTube, you do have a YouTube channel. Yes. And are you on your YouTube channel? Kirk Fletcher Blues. I will be back. Yes. I'll be making the return. I'll leave that link down <laughs> below. His Instagram's great too. So make sure you sign up for all of his social media to find out when he's playing because he is awesome live. You got to go check him out if you haven't seen it. Thank you so much for your continued support. We'll catch you next time.